Used printers are filled with a ton of free electronic and mechanical parts. They contain all sorts of motors, sensors, power supplies and more. My friend and I took apart several printers so we could tell you what we found in them and where to look for specific items from your wishlist. If your project requires an accurate motor, you're probably going to use a stepper motor. Stepper motors basically divide a full rotation of the motor into many little steps. You can then decide how many steps to take in a given direction and how quickly to perform them, which gives you very accurate control over its position. Problem is, they can get pretty expensive, especially if you need several of these for a project. We found so many of these stepper motors in each printer. Small office or home printers usually have smaller stepper motors. These are often used for small Arduino projects and they can be very accurate, but their torque is limited. If you are after bigger stepper motors, you should be looking for bigger printers or coffee machines, like the ones you see in big office spaces. We found all sorts of big stepper motors in one of these, including NEMA 17 and 23, which are often used for DIY 3D printers or CNC machines. DC motors are some of the most commonly used motors out there. They are used for a ton of projects like RC cars, generator projects and more. We found so many of these. Low and high RPM motors suitable for 3 and up to 24 volts. The size of the motors and their voltage rating pretty much scale with the size of the printer. So the 24 volt motors were more common in large printers, while motors suitable for small projects were more common in the home printers. We found a couple of 24 volt fans in the large printers. These are not as common as the other parts and if you're looking for fans, I suggest you look for an old PC to take apart. Printers have about a million types of sensors and switches. There are many optical gates which signal when something passes through them and you can also find temperature sensors and limit switches in almost any old printer you pick up. These parts can be used in so many projects so they are worth keeping around. Another nice thing we found is plenty of solenoids and solenoid actuators. Solenoid actuators are made of two parts. When you apply a voltage to the solenoid, it creates a magnetic field which moves the other part. These are often used to move things around like open and close valves. Other than electronic parts, printers are filled with super useful mechanical parts. We found a ton of metal rods and cylinders of different sizes. There are also many springs of different stiffness and length, glass sheets, screws and more. I hope I gave you some motivation to look around you to find parts for your next project instead of buying them. Thanks for sticking around and watching.